What exactly is neurocysticercosis then? It is a form of the infectious parasitic disease, cysticercosis, that is caused by the infection with tania solium, a tapeworm that is found in pigs. This particular form of cysticercosis is called tania solium cysticercosis. Neurocysticercosis is a condition that develops when cysts that are caused by an infection take hold within the brain. This can lead to a variety of neurologic syndromes, including epileptic seizures. It is a prevalent factor in the development of seizures all over the world. A hidden epidemic, and arguably the most common parasitic disease of the human nervous system, are two names that have been given to this condition. Seizures, headaches, blindness, meningitis and dementia are some of the more common symptoms associated with neurocysticercosis. Epileptic therapy and long-term medication treatment with Prazacontel, PZQ, and oralbendazole are both necessary components of neurocysticercosis treatment. When it comes to the treatment of neurocysticercosis, albendazole is the anthelmintic medication of choice. Course of 400 mg twice daily, or 15 mg per kilogram per day, is typically administered for 8 to 15 days. It is debatable whether or not praziquantel should play a part in the treatment of neurocysticercosis. Only carefully chosen patients should be given treatment with them. Praziquantel was the first drug that researchers discovered to be useful in the treatment of neurocysticercosis. The larvae that are lodged in the brain and other tissues can be killed by administering 50 mg per kilogram of body weight daily in three divided doses for 15 to 30 days. On the other hand, it is currently the second best drug to albendazole 